Oscar. I mean, the worst you can do is say no. That's what I'm afraid of. I can only have some confidence. That's easy for you to say. Don't be so sad. Well, the longer I put it off, the longer I can dream about it, can't I? It just gets sadder. Well, I'm 15 years older than she is. So? Well, think about it. Curly, she likes you. She respects you. She thinks you're clever. You think so? Aye, aye. Morning, Audrey. Oh, for... We're, uh, we're just off out canvassing. We're going to be telling the electric what a pile of poo, poo your ten pledges are. Oh, right, yes. Well, I suppose being a member of the unemployed, you can afford the time, can't you? Oh, dear, oh, dear. You're not going to endear yourself to anyone with that sort of attitude, are you? Not round here. Actually, Spider is not unemployed. Oh, really? So what does he know about round here, eh? He's only been round here five minutes. Yeah, Audrey, on your manifesto, this bit about slashing the rates, how are you going to fund refuge collection by appointment if you've halved the rates? All will become clear. Clear as mud, no doubt. Oi, sir, sir. Well, go and ask her out for a carry tonight, I dare you. Morning. Hiya, Lorraine. You look busy. Yeah, we're just off out educating the people. Um, I'll just get some more sanitary. Cheers, mate. I wish I could come with you. Well, you can if you want. No, I've got to work. I need the money. You've got to work tonight as well? I've got this essay that needs doing. Just that, uh, I thought we could go for a curry. OK. Oh, uh, great. I'll meet you at six o'clock in the Rovers. Brilliant. See you. See, See you, Spider. See you later, Lorraine. What's up? Spider and Curly have gone canvassing and won't let me go with them. Well, they probably thought you'd be bored. It's a very thankless task, I imagine. But I wanted to go. They just don't appreciate me. They think I'm thick. <laughs> have you got something to say, Mr Barlow? Sorry? Sat there sniggering like butter wouldn't melt up his bum. Toya. It's because of useless old teachers like him that people like me end up stupid. Steady. Concentration, I seem to remember, was your problem, Toya. They take one look at your surname and where you come from, and that's it. Detention every night. If you'd ever once just shown the slightest bit of interest. In what? McFlame in Beth, William Bore in Blake. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't affect anything. So you'd rather read about pop music and makeup and all that sort of stuff, would you? No. I want to learn about what's going on now, out there in the real world. Then read a newspaper. What's the point in that? It's all full of trash about folk on telly. I mean, a proper newspaper. I mean, Spider and Curly, they know all about what's going on in the Middle East and Bogota. And what do I know? Bog all. Because I've been taught by nerd teachers like you. I'll give you that. Just read one little bit, one article. You might learn a lot more than you expect. Likely. Please, Fee, just a week's advance. Oh, Maxine, no! Is it seriously expensive, then, Maxine, in this hotel? Do you mind, or just a private conversation? What's it called? Because half oh, for me might have been there. Hazlitt Hall in Cheshire. No, no, that doesn't ring a bell, that. Mm, it's got everything there. Heated swimming pool, oh, no. jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, 18-hole golf course. I'll do it in a set, so. Yeah, no rush. Does Greg play golf, then? No, I don't think so. Well, anyway, you won't need to. We'll be sitting in the jacuzzi together, drinking champagne. Oh. <laughs> going somewhere nice, Maxine? Yeah, me and Greg are going to a posh hotel for the weekend. What, this coming weekend? Yeah. Oh, look at you all, green with envy. Wow. No, Maxine, we're green with puking up after listening to you banging oh, on about it all morning. Yeah. Sure. What can I do for you, Sally? Uh, I just want to book in for a trim. You must tell me what it's like, Maxine, because you've got a really fancy that myself. <laughs> I can manage. Oh, steady. I'm just going to pop in the shop and see how Leanne is. You are Ella's like. She can cope on her own. She doesn't uh, need you to interfere. I'll take your word for it, Ali. Uh, oh. uh, now, are you all right? I'm fine. Look, you get me bag and I'll open up. Thank you. Oh, oh, Sally, love. Oh, oh how 
you feeling? Oh, a bit brighter. Oh, well, you look a lot brighter, don't you, Helen? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's smashing to see you out that hospital bed. I tell you what I'm looking forward to seeing, them two little girls. Well, I'll bring them round after they've had the tea. Well, well, as long as they don't stay too late, you know, and tire her out. Why don't you all come round? You, Kevin, the kids. Well, we could. Right. Have you time for a coffee now? I've only got ten minutes. Oh, got... that's plenty of time. Come on, you come and tell me what's been going on. Right, I'll pop the kettle on, but honestly, Rita, I've got to go. Oh, only for a few minutes. Stay. I mean, Mike won't mind. Oh, you're joking. There we are. Ah, come on, get yourself sat down. Oh, I don't want to be sat. I'd rather be doing. No, you're not up to it yet. Come on, let's get your coat off. Right, I'll are. pop the kettle on, and uh, I'll be back after tea time with the girls. I've hardly seen you. Well, she, she has got a job to go to. I'll try and pop in at dinner time. Yeah, I'm sorry, love. Take no notice of me. I'm just glad to see you. Welcome on, Rita. Thanks, love. I'll see you later. Yeah. See you, son. I, uh, got you some flowers. Oh, Alec, they're lovely. Uh, are you all right? You're not rushing off, are you? Me? No, no, no. I'll stay as long as I'm needed. And unless, of course, I mean, you'd rather be on your own. No. No, I wouldn't, Alec. It's a strange feeling, coming back, when you've no memory of leaving. It brings it home to you. I could just have easily have been dead, couldn't I? For all I knew out about it. Look, don't dwell on it. Won't Jack and Vera want to know where you are? Well, they'll, they'll manage. I, I, I'm here just as long as you want me. Thanks, Alec. Have you got it then? Eh? You're chewing all my ashes to get there. Oh, damn, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, you're feeling useless, you seven. There you go. No problem. Greg? Oh, hi. Is it true you and Maxine are going away for the weekend together? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I meant to tell you. But how are you going to go? Well, I can't get out of it. She's fixed it up and everything. It'll look odd if I backed out now. But isn't it all over between you and her now? Yeah, I just... I haven't told her yet. I don't want to go. I'm not paying for it. She's paying for herself. But you are going to finish with her, aren't you? Look, can we talk about this later? This isn't exactly the right time, is it? Obviously. When, then? Can you stay behind again? Tonight? Yeah. Yeah, OK. I suppose you might as well enjoy yourself before you get trounced bit voters tomorrow. Trounced? The only person who's going to get trounced is this rather strange-looking woman here with the air cut from Mars, <laughs> a promising to bring back the Miss Weatherfield competition and prison centres for owners of dogs who let them foul the pavement. Oh, well, I might have guessed a smelly hippie would think it's OK for dogs to leave their messes everywhere. But that's not the point. In fact... Now I come to think of it, I'm surprised I've never seen you with a flea-bitten whippet dangling at the end of a bit of string. If she thinks people round here are going to believe that she's going to bring back sentencing for it... She's barking! <laughs> <laughs> she has very high ideals. Yeah, and we've been handing out her leaflets all morning. Yeah, we decided that she was the best advert you could possibly have. For me. <laughs> That's a sort of trick. 
That could well backfire on you. Look for Audrey Lovett. Audrey Lovett. Glorious Triple Lady Claude Cuckoo Line. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Listen, you know I've invited Lorraine out for a curry tonight. Yeah. Well, I think she's under the impression that all three of us are going. So if she says anything, you don't feel very well and you want an early night, all right? Okay, dokey. Thank you. Tomorrow night, Audrey, we shall be down in now but champagne. Oh, wonderful, but don't give Alfie any. It gives him wind, and it's me has to go into the spare bedroom. <laughs> Hello, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Say, put that damn thing away. Ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> Hello, Lorraine. Hi. Hi, Spider. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's everyone drinking? Uh, sorry, I'll get these. What are you having, Lorraine? White wine and soda, thanks. Right. So, where are you taking us then? Oh, tonight, yeah. Um, well, listen, I'm going to have to cop out on that one. I'm a bit tired, you know? Early night, need my bed. Oh. Hey, don't let that stop you and Curly making a night of it. Well. Oh, come on, for me, eh? You'll be really disappointed if you don't. He's been working really hard and he's a really nice guy. OK. Please, just this once and then I'll oh, never ask again, ever, God ever, knows ever. why I agreed to come for a drink with you. Oh, please, just this once. Maxine, look, I am really sick to the back teeth of this now, all right? Just get the message, no. Please. All right. Fine. Take it. Have it. Yeah. What, you really mean that? Yeah, have next week's, have the week after that's, have whatever the hell else you want, all right? But just do not come crying to me when you've got no money and don't blame me, understand? No, thank you. No, thank no, Maxine, don't thank me. He is not worth it and you're going to find out. See you, girls. Bye. Bye. What's it in aid of, any road? All this over time. Wouldn't have thought you'd have been desperate after getting all that money off your mum. Well, it's all tied up, what with one damn thing and another. Well, you want to be careful, you know. Folk might start talking. How do you mean? Oh, well, no. You just don't all us want to be at beck and call of them two, that's all. I'm now I'll do some over time. What do you think? It's up to you, Janice. Maybe another time. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, Sam. See you. Talk to you. We can talk later. Mm. We can talk any time. But we haven't got long because Mike's popping back in half an hour. Hi, love. You had a good day? No. Had a rubbish day as usual. Yeah, well, don't get on to me about it. You're not the only one. That's all I've got to look forward to now, innit? A life full of rubbish days. Cos, let's face it, I'm probably going to end up just like you. Don't start. I'm 16 and on the scrap heap, repeating a year. Yeah, well, you needn't be. That's up to you, isn't it? If you'd ever want to show the slightest bit of interest in my schoolwork... I have! I do. When? You never go to see my teachers on open evenings. Oh, except to pick a fight. Once that happened. Yeah. Once. The only time you went. Listen. You were never interested before. Don't blame me. If I'd have known you were bothered, I'd have gone more. You never asked me about my own work. And if I do get my own work out when Les is around, he always wants to use the table for something. You can't blame us, love. It's the way we were brought up. Nobody ever took an interest in it when we were kids, either. I mean, it just weren't important. I'm fed up of being stupid. I'm not stupid. I know you're not stupid. Nobody's saying you are. No, everyone just assumes I am. Listen, I wish I could help you better, but I can't. 
could help me with my homework. How? You know more than I do. I know nothing about anything. I can't even read a proper newspaper. It's like a foreign language. Come on then, let's go find your mum. She's obviously forgot. We said we've got the pictures, eh? I want to talk to you about Maxine. Later. No, now. I can't stand to think of you doing this with her. You know she means nothing to me, not like you do. Well, she must do, otherwise you'd finish with her. She doesn't. Greg, tell her you can't go. It's not as easy as that, I've told you. I never expected it to be. I don't want to hurt her. You're two-timing her. You're two-timing Kevin, are you going to tell him? It's different. Why? I'm married, there are children involved, that's why. So you can't stand the thought of me with her, but I've got to put up with the thought of you with him. Is that right? It's different, I've got kids. Don't you think Maxine's going to want to know why if I do tell her I can't go? We don't have to tell her the truth. So? It's Kevin. Oh, well, I usually lock up before you've left. Oh, force of habit, I suppose. Last one out drops the latch. Is uh, Sally about? Yeah. Well, go on, then. Give your mum a kiss. Mum! Hiya, girls. You forget we said we've got the pictures or what? Yeah, um, Greg asked me if I wanted to do some overtime, but I never thought. Hmm. So, all right, she comes with us? Well, it's up to Sally. It's fine by me either way. Come on, Mum. Is it all right if I am? Um... Yeah, sure. Don't touch anything, Sophie. We don't want you getting electrocuted, do we? Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah, see ya. See ya, girls. Enjoy the film. Yeah. Come on. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mr. Barlow. Oh, Mr. Now, is it? Not playing old Barlow. Look, I've come to say I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you this morning in the cafe. Well, that's something, I suppose, the first, if nothing else. I just get angry. I don't want to be stupid all my life, and I feel like I've cocked everything up already. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're very resourceful, and uh, academic intelligence isn't everything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just watching your news. I looked at that newspaper you gave me. Oh, good. Yeah. I didn't understand most of it. I mean, you need to know about so much stuff before you even start reading. Yeah, well, uh, stick to the tabloids, they're much more fun. I don't want to! I want to be able to read proper newspapers. Mr Barlow? What? Do you give private lessons? Oh, no. Uh, private tuition, you know, so I can catch up with everything? No, 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 no. I can pay you. Uh, no, look, I'm going in now and my tea's getting cold, OK? Audrey Roberts, Weatherfield's drugs czar. <laughs> Audrey Roberts says no to the evils of drugs. <laughs> You sure you're not coming with a spider? Yeah, yeah, look, I'm knackered. Uh, right, uh, I'll see you. I'll see you later. This way. Hi, spider. Oh, hey, Toya. Is there anything I can do, you know, to help with the campaign? Nah, not really. It's all over, Barda shouting. Uh, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Changes took place. <laughs> Families divided. <laughs> Neighbours <laughs> became enemies. <laughs> Yeah, uh, two pounds seventy six. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alec. Uh, uh, eh? Oh, God. well, was I asleep again? Just look at you. You've been here all day. Well, I, well, I can stop all night if you want. I, I mean, I'll sleep in this chair. Well, you'd have to. You can't sleep in my bed. Uh, the thought never crossed my mind. No, you get off home now. I'll be all right. Shall we have another cup of tea? Well, nearly ten o'clock. Look, is it? Sally never came. She said she'd bring the kids. Ah, well, that and she'll pop round tomorrow, eh? Yeah. I mean, she's a busy lass. Working all day and a family to see to. I suppose you're right. I'm just being selfish. And we've done all right for visitors, haven't we? We've had Betty and Vera. I appreciate you staying this long, Alec. It was just what I needed. Somebody here. Yeah, well, think on. If you do want me for old, all you've got to do is knock on that wall. I think I'll probably pick the telephone up. 
Oh, the phone. Yes, yeah, yeah, I was speaking metaphorically. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll say good night then. And uh, I hope you sleep well, love. Oh, I'm sure I will, Alec. But if you should wake up in the middle of the night and feel, you know, uneasy about old, right. don't hesitate. I'll come round straight away, no matter what time it is. Thanks, Alec. See yourself, Alec. I will. Good night. Good night. Right, well, thanks for the coffee and the meal. My pleasure. Any time. No, I'll pay next time. Great. You're not going already, are you? I didn't realise it was this late. Well, it's only about ten. I've got my essay to be getting on with. All right. Do you want to see my telescope? Curly. You say the sweetest things, but honestly, I've got to get back. Well, no, I meant my telescope in the attic upstairs. I did mention it before, and you said you wanted to see it. Maybe next time. Will there be a next time? You know this essay? Uh, what is it about? Oh. Well, well maybe if you, if you talk me through it, I could help you with it. Hardly. Sorry. It's about the repeal of the Corn Laws in 1846. Ah, history. No, physics. Your face. Of course it's history, you plonker. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, what for? Right, well, good luck for tomorrow. Thank you, great. Give Spider my love. Tell him I'll be thinking about him. Yeah, will do. He is a fabulous spider, isn't he? I really admire him. He's so passionate about stuff, isn't he? Yes, he's very, um, demonstrative. How do you mean? Well, I think people are passionate about a lot of things. It's just that some people are louder than others. Well, I admire that. I think it's easy to keep your mouth shut and sit on the fence. I admire people who let people know how they feel and make things happen. Do you? I think so. Can I kiss you? Gosh, that was unexpected. Was it? I didn't realise you... I'm not entirely unpleasant. Don't be daft. Right, see you then. Bye. Right. 